Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Low Code Park. And today we are going to start a new session regarding integration. So what are integration is and how we can achieve integration in Appian, right? So in Appian, we have different objects. By using that object, we can perform integration. So what is integration is basically whenever we are trying to connect uh, two systems, one is the local system and other is external system. We have two systems and we wanted to share some information. We wanted to get some data. We wanted to send some data. We wanted to change some data. So there are few things which we can do and achieve with integration. So let's see how we can achieve integration in Appian. So before we understand how, how to build the integration and how to use this integration object, it's important to understand one more object and that other object is the connected system object right so let's click on this connected system icon and you can see there are multiple connected system options available in appian right we have http it's a basic http request we can modify it according to our requirement and according to our selective external system but the other options are like appian has already given various other options to select from this long list right google drive so whenever we choose this option because appian has done already the configuration part so we just need to put our credentials and we need to use it right so let's use this http because this is from scratch and we need to put the details inside this http connected system so now we going we have to like specify about the system and about the configuration and authentication configuration right that is the most important thing so you can see we have the option like names description these are the basic details we need to fill to build this connected system and the base url is my url of the external system right so whatever will be the base url of this external system i can put it here so let's do one thing because right now i'm not having any external system api so i will be searching api from internet and let's see we have a site this url we are having and you can see in this site we are having multiple free apis and we can use any of them so what is a base url base url let's say this is this we will be going to use this one and this is my base url so i will be pasting this url inside my base url and right now as it is a free api the authentication which is coming is none and whenever we are using any other external system which is having some other authentication type so we can use as according to that particular external system so you can see oauth 2.0 is there so these are few preferred authorization which is right now like many industries using these kind of authentication right so right now my authentication is ready none is selected for this base url is ready and we have the name let's put change the name to get data right so after putting all my details here inside the connected system i just need to click on create right and the security is already coming so let's save this so this is how basically how we can create a connected system so now comes the part where we will be going to use this connected system in my integration right because in right now i don't worry about the authorization authentication is completed and now i need to use this connected system in my integration so we can create a single connected system and we can use that single connected system at multiple places right whenever we are calling the integration either from the process model or from anywhere else right whenever we are creating an integration we need this connected system so we can create multiple integration with this connected system right so that's it for today's video and in next session we will be learning how we can use this connected system to build an integration to get the data from that particular free api so thank you guys and do practice let's see you in next video